Oh man, I had plans on making you guys a really cool video today, but the big man upstairs had other plans evidently. He opened up the doors and just let the rain come. But you know the old moral to the story, right? Whenever life presents you with a lemon, what do you do with it? Everybody should know this one. You make lemonade. <laughs> so let's get to it. I hope you like that little uh, intro there, that little skit. Well, uh, but it is true. I did have a planned video I was going to do today for you. And it started pouring down rain. There goes my neighbor on his little go-kart. Need to make a video about that. He used to make the drift bikes, or drift trikes, however you want to call it. But yeah, back to the moral of the video. The plot, if you will. I've had several people ask me how to do this, and through the other videos and stuff that I've done before, you know, some people have figured out how to do it, some haven't, and that's fine. But I'll go ahead and show you. How do you take an object, like the lemon or the glass of lemonade, put it in the video, and then actually have it follow or go somewhere where you want it to go? In other words, take the lemon right when I brought it up and then a glass of lemonade when I brought it up so let me get in here to the computer and I'll try to show you okay here we are in a computer and I'm going to make this as simple as I can without making it take too long but so you know this kind of takes a while to explain it's very simple in concept and it's very simple once you understand it but to get it down pat and tell you step by step it takes a few minutes so I don't know how long this video is going to run I apologize if it takes too long, but I want you to be able to go in and know exactly what you're supposed to do. With that said, I hope my com my computer doesn't crash. Story the other day, well, to be honest, a week ago, today is July 4th, so that would have been this past, not this past, yeah, this past Friday, because the day is Thursday. <sighs> what a week. I'm starting a new career path and my computer decided it wanted to take a crap on me. I have Windows Edge, which is Windows 10, and there's a problem with the system and the fact that it can cause and it does cause you to have a black screen. It will boot up, it'll show you your, your uh, lock screen. And in my case, it had a different font on it. It was real little. I couldn't hardly read it. Didn't know what it was. And then when you click on it and open it up, it just goes black. No blue screen, no nothing. You can sit there and let it sit there all night long and nothing happens. So I called. Well, I didn't call them. I got on my laptop, brought it in here. Contacted Microsoft support. They helped me get it to where... It would work again but the only problem was I noticed and let me show you whenever I hit my start you see these icons over here these are called apps or app buttons some of them were missing there was a blue screen and it still had the word beside of it but there was nothing in it so some of them were gone they wouldn't work a good third of them were like that and one of them was my photos app so long story short I contacted them. They suggested that I do an in-place reinstall, which means overriding the operating system with a new operating system. In other words, take the one Microsoft Edge operating system and reload it back in the computer, and everything that is missing, the drivers and stuff, should reinstall in the missing spot. Well, it did. It did. It worked fine. Everything, you know, I had to re-enter all my passwords and all the websites and just it was a headache I've been, I've been messing with this for a solid week now and the problem is and I'll, I'll shut up after this about it the problem is is that videos now take 10 times longer I tried uploading a 10 minute video the other night and it took two and a half hours so they told me it was the drivers it was the drivers so I gave them permission to to operate my system, you know, do a remote on it. They did the remote. They did all the stuff they needed to do. 
still two and a half hours my laptop done it in 35 minutes so their suggestion is is reinstall another reinstall so i kind of got ticked off i asked well what's the what's another reinstall magically going to do that this one didn't and then their their answer to me was eh, use google chrome google chrome come on microsoft this is your system your problem what's wrong with it so i didn't want to lose everything again because i lost several files i didn't lose anything important but i lost a lot of stuff i installed google chrome as you can see right there tried it guess what two and a half hours so they don't know what's wrong they don't know what's going on and they're they've really given up on me they really said there's nothing else they can do so i've got to deal with it but let's get back to the video but i wanted to explain that to you so while we're in the process of doing this video if something happens and i forget to, to cut it out or whatever you'll understand so the first thing you're going to, want to do is have in your mind how you want your video to work and in a situation like the lemons well you saw how that worked okay i raised my hand i had thought it out in my head how i wanted it. i brought the hand up I, ins I put inserted the lemon had the lemon follow my hand had the glass follow my hand yada 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 well i'm not going to show you exactly how to do that one because that video is still in my gopro i have not actually rendered it yet i have not actually done it yet <laughs> so, so you can understand how this kind of works you, there's a process to it so when you actually watch this video i will uh, have since rendered that video and made it with the lemon and the glass of lemonade yada 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 but let's get back to it you need to know what you want to do okay so the best way for me to explain this to you is twofold and I will show you both of them in practice, okay? I'm not going to use the same video clip and stuff that I just showed you. I'm going to use something random and different. But you have to figure out what you want to have in your video. You know, is it a picture or a, an item, what? And you really need a P, what's called a PNG file, okay? If you have Photoshop, you can make anything into a, a PNG file. Once you go to save it, you can change it into a PNG file. Basically, what a PNG file is, is like if I wanted to put, I think this is what, Megan Markle? I think that's her name. Let me scroll down. Look. Yep. If I wanted to put her in it, I could cut it out, right? Save just her and get rid of the background because I know that I want to insert her into my video over something and save it as a PNG file because if you save it as a JPEG or anything else, it's going to fill in that background. Now, if you fill it in with black, you can still use it. But if you save it as a PNG file, you have nothing to work about. So I'm going to just type in lemon, right? I want a lemon PNG. So I'm going to go up here to my search the web, right? Type in lemon. Doing this one hand, so it'll take me a second. Lemon space PNG. Hit enter. Right there they are. Lemon PNG. Now all you do is pick the one you want. You want a whole lemon you want a lemon with a leaf whatever you want and if you look really close you can see the checkerboard pattern behind here that means there is no background color it's just the lemon and you can verify it by it says fresh lemon png right there and then all you do is save it to your files your pictures wherever you save your stuff to okay but another way to know without actually clicking on it is just hover over it and it'll tell you right there, 454 by 388 PNG. Okay? Go over to the next one, this bunch of them. 3400 by 2782 PNG. That way you don't have to click on each file to verify that it is a PNG. I've already got one saved, so I'm just going to go ahead and back out of this and open up my DaVinci Resolve. Because that's what I'm using, and hopefully that's what you're using. That's why you're watching this video, but it will work for just about any video editor you have out there that you can move things around in the video and i'll explain that in just a second all right so all i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my files there's my lemon png i'm going to drag it down and hold it over the the is off i'm going to drop it up in the media pool now i need to go get my video file that i'm going to use and let's just use i don't know this one 
I'm going to go ahead and drop it in place. And this is actually about a different video that I'm going to do that I've already done. I just had not released it yet. So let's get it to where I want to actually have the lemon come in place, which is right there. So let's back it back up. It's a product review I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to trim it and make it shorter. That way you don't have to sit here and fiddle with all that. But here's a video clip. Unedited, right? Hit play. It brings it up. Just pretend that's the lemon. That's how we're doing. Hit the up arrow. That takes it back to the beginning. Now here's where everything gets a little complicated, if you will. But I promise you, it is not complicated. As you can see up here in the top left, still got the lemon. And now you can see it's got a black background. Because anything white in DaVinci, when you bring it in, will appear black. So, if it's a PNG file, that tells you that there is no background. So all we're going to do is we're going to drag that and drop it right over the video clip. And as you can see, it's too big. So we need to actually change that to where it's smaller, okay? And basically all you do is you click on the lemon, highlight the, the file, the photo that you just put in, and look up here to the top right. Top right is your composite, your transform, cropping options, all that stuff. And all we're going to be doing is using the transform, okay? That's all we're going to be dealing with, using transform and specifically zoom and position, okay? Everything else we're not going to really worry about unless we want to turn it, so. But let's shrink it down first. And all you have to do is click on the zoom, click in the zoom box and hold it and drag it down. As you can see, it makes it smaller or you can make it larger, whatever you want. And that should be pretty close to the size I need. But I want it to be basically sticking straight up and down. Does it have to be? I'll leave it cocked a little bit, just like so. But anything you want to do is you just click in those boxes, put your cursor in the boxes, click and hold, and drag it one way or the other, and it'll do what you want it to do. You just, after doing it a couple times, you know which way to go with it. Position, X will be left and right, Y will be up and down. So if I click in position X and hold it, and drag it to the left, you can see it goes left, I drag it to the right, it goes to the right, okay? We want to start these transformations at the beginning of the video clip, okay? And always make sure the video, the, what you want to move is highlighted. Got the red box around it. So if I click on the video, anything I do is going to change the video, it's not going to change that. Now, you can see that we have the limit in the picture. Now what? Well, we need to get it positioned and we need to get it to moving, okay? So for right now, I'm going to take the opacity, which is just above the transform, and turn it down. But I need to see, I, that worked on the video because I didn't have the lemon highlighted. Click on the lemon and see how it transforms it. And now you want to do the most important steps of this. Right, beside, right to the right, almost all the way off the screen, there's dots. Those dots, when you click it, that is a mark or a marking point or a starting point. Or however you want to look at it, I don't care what terminology you use. Those are the most important things to get this across, okay? We'll get back to that in just a second. I need to bring this up and see, get the size just right to where I'm satisfied with it, the size of the lemon. So now all you're going to do is click on the video file, highlight it, and hit your right arrow down somewhere on your computer. If you're using a PC, it's normally just to the right of all your letters, between there and the numbers. Hit the right arrow, and that will move it one frame at a time. Right there, you can see it starting to come up. I'm going to bring it all the way up, so now that I can get the sizing right of the lemon, okay? So now we're going to go back up, change the opac, click on the lemon, Make the opacity 100% again. Now the lemon is very visible. Now I'm going to use the zoom tool to get it the size that I need to where it covers up the whole bottle. And as you can see, that should be very close. A little bit bigger. And this is just for demonstration purposes for this. Like I said, I haven't done the actual opening clip that you've seen a few minutes ago yet. So this is just 
me messing around trying to get everything just right showing you how to do this all right now when you get it where you know that size is going to work for you change the opacity back down so you can verify you have everything covered as you can see I do I actually want to bring this down I want to figure out where I want this lemon to be so it, it looks like it's moving smoothly I want the top of the lemon right here the roll part where it goes up to the end to be level with that red so I'm gonna bring that down just like that as you can see right here the lemon and red are the same shape size and everything that's where I want to try to follow with this so now I can just make it full go back to the beginning of the clip right well we know we don't want this here so we're gonna go back over here click the red ticks I don't need zoom anymore because I've done that I'm gonna click position that gives me left right up and down because I know I'm not going to be using rotation. I know I'm not going to be using zoom. And that tells Da Vinci that from where this time marker is, is where I want this effect to start. And where I want it to start right now is completely off the screen. Because the bottle's off the screen. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to click in the Y for position. And I'm going to drag it to where the lemon goes off the bottom of the screen. Because that's where the bottle comes from. Take it just off the bottom. Okay, and we don't have to worry about that anymore for just a second. We're going to hit the right arrow. One, two, I'm not going to count. Right there, it starts coming up. Okay, I can hit right, there's the bottle. Left, there's not the bottle. Now what we're going to do again is hit that dot beside position. That tells us from right there that we're going to start doing something. So now we're going to hit right again one click and then we're going to go back click the red dot again because we're moving the lemon we're bringing it up and as you can see it is not in line so we need to move it over to the left right now we've got the lemon coming up hit right again that moves the bottle again so now we've got to move from this position move the lemon to the next position click the red dot again all right use the position and drag it so we know that we want it right there that covers up the red but now the bottle is a little to the right so we got to track it to the right now the bottle's gone again hit the arrow to the right there's more of the bottle so we got to move the lemon See how the repetitive routine is coming? Click the red dot by position. Move it up to where it's hiding it again, to where it's supposed to be. And then move it over to cover the bottle. Right click the video. That brings it up again. So now we've got to move the lemon. Click the dot. Move the lemon up. And move the lemon over again because you can see the bottle starting to show right there again. And you can do this with any thing. You can do it with rotation. You can do it with zoom. You have it small. And then as you move it closer to the camera where you need a bigger object, you can zoom it out. Just remember to click those red dots for everything you're doing. So now we're going to hit the video again. Move it one more frame to the right. Now we've got to move the lemon again. Click the red dot. Move it up. Move it over. And that's how you do it. And then I can leave that lemon there as we're talking. Or I can click the dot again. I'm going to rotate it just a hair. But I see how I'm rotating the video. Well, I'm not wanting to rotate the video. I got the wrong thing clicked. I'm showing you this as we do it. That way you can learn what happens if you make a mistake. Click the lemon. And the lemon needs to be rotated just a hair to fit where it is right now. And just hit play and see now it needs to go up so now i can back it back up to where it's not hidden anymore right there as you can see you can go back to your dots so now we hit to the right 
Uh, I need to hit the red dot again. I need to move it up just a hair. Hit to the right again. There's starting to come out the top again. It's a red dot. Move it up again. Move the video again. Move the lemon again. See the repetitive process? And that's all there is to this. You just keep doing that. And I'm going to finish this out. So you can see how easy it is. Now I'm starting to come back down. Just move it. Move your video one frame or two frames at a time. And move the lemon to match it. That's all there is to it. Or whatever you're putting in your video. It doesn't have to be a lemon. It can be anything. And see I'm starting to come down again. So I click there. Move it down. Frame. Down with the lemon. And that's all there is to it, guys. I tell you, it is that simple. I promise. This is not hard. The hardest part is learning the concept of what you're doing. And you need to figure out ahead of time what you're trying to pull off. That's all there is to it. Boom, gone. Now we're going to go back to the beginning of the video and watch what happens. Here we go. Watch. In amazement. Now I just use this clip because like I said, it's, it's another video I have not released yet. It's a product review. And it's just a clip that I had because like I said, I lost everything. So I didn't just have a lot of random clips laying around in the computer. And I um, didn't want to load this video up yet because I this, the clip for the opening up yet, I should have. So I can show you exactly. But this is the gist of it. This is how it works. And like I said, you could do it with anything. But here's the reason you use a PNG file. Let me get rid of the lemon. You can do it with absolutely anything. Let's just get a picture. A regular picture. Okay. Regular photo, guys. Regular photo. Let's use the Camaro photo. Put it over the top. Now we're going to take the opacity down so we can see through it. Right? There's the Camaro photo. Or we'll bring it down to where we can see through it. So we can get the size right. So now we're going to mess with the zoom until we get the sizing just right. And then we're going to take the opacity back up. Now do you see the problem with that? The problem is it's covering up everything. You still see the road, the pavement. You still see the background. If that was a PNG, all you would have was the Camaro and the wheel. But because it's like that, that's not a PNG file saved as a TIFF file or a JPEG file. It, it, it doesn't have the same effect. It doesn't have the same look. Now, if you're wanting to use a picture like, you know, I took this picture and you hold your hand up showing, you know, that representing you're holding a picture in your hand and then insert the picture like that and have it follow your hand. That's one thing. But to use it like this, PNG is always best. And I understand why it can seem complicated. I really can, but it's not. I promise it is not complicated at all. Because let's just say you want something to come in as you're talking and just walk across the screen, okay? Just like these two guys right here. Well, all I got to do is do the same thing. Put them over the top of the, the file. I'm going to get rid of this little short one right here. All you got to do is put it on top of the file. There they are. This is a PNG. That's why... You can see through them, right? But they're a little big, so I want to click on them, make them smaller. There they are, smaller. And we can just say, hey, they're going to walk through here right in front of us as we're talking about bribery. Well, I know that I'm going to take it off. I'm at the beginning again. I know that I'm going to take it from left to right. So I'm going to take them off the left side of the screen. Now, this one is a little simpler. It is the same exact thing, but since we're going from point A to point B without any up and down or left and right or rotation or anything, it's just straightforward. You can take them off the left. Got the marker at the left. 
click on position red right make sure it's red and that tells the computer and DaVinci Resolve you want this effect to start right there where that timeline marker is and I want them to go off the screen by the end of the video clip so what do you think you do now all you do is you move the timeline marker over to the end of the video clip right there so what do you think you need to do now same exact thing as you did before click on the little guys remember left uh, X is left and right Y is up and down so you're gonna click the little red marker again because you're telling the Vince resolve from that first marker to the last marker this is what you want to do you're gonna click in your position box and hold it and drag it hey look there comes a little man well in this case we want them to go all the way off the other side so I'm gonna take them just off the other side and we're finished with it now we're gonna do is go back to the beginning of the video clip they're not there and hit play there they go that simple you can do it with almost anything it's just like I said it's always best to use a PNG file and this is I mean you can make them go up you can make them go down because watch I'll back it back up we still have this as the beginning of the them being off to the left so there's nothing we have to do there okay and as you can see here they come but we're going to back it back up that's the beginning let's have them rotate okay so let's take grab the rotation angle we're going to click it make it red we've already done the left to the right now we want to rotate and see that's not going to work because that's our video clip so we want to click on the little guys and we know we're at the starting point because there's a little red dot that we clicked earlier so we want to click that drag it all the way to the left now we're going to advance it all the way to the beginning i mean the end i'm sorry click it again and rotate it all the way to the other side like so and we're done back it back up to the beginning of the clip now watch they rotate it as it goes across it is very cool <laughs> there is so much you can do with this program it's so cool and just play around with it you know your imagination is what limits you just play around with it until you see something you like like you still have pitch and yaw up here i haven't talked about yet or flip you, you click on flip that changes the video uh, depending on what you have highlighted it changes it from left to right click on the little guys where well, you got the cache on the left well now the cache is on the right it flipped the guys from one side to the other pitch if you click on that it can lean them in or it can lean them out it's, <laughs> it's always a funny a, a very fun effect but you got to use it for certain things you know you can have one like they're looking this way and then as video goes you can actually have them follow and turn that way you're only limited by your imagination and that is all there is to it yes there's more ways to do it i mean davinci resolve has a um, a motion tracker where you can pick an object in a video and tell it that you want this to follow that spot that you picked uh, they have blur trackers and all kind of stuff built in and they work excellent they really do as long as it's not something moving really fast but when you have somebody sitting here moving their hands you know up and down or up sideways whatever like i held a hershey's kiss up one time and dangled it i have found that the way that i just showed you is it's a little time consuming yes but it's easier and i have found that it works better because it actually follows exactly you're able to put it to the precise point of where you want it so that's why i did this video i hope it helps some of you guys and gals out by placing stuff in your videos and then we'll see you in the next one you get out there and enjoy those cars and thank you so very much for watching i truly enjoy doing this God is screwing up I'm tired of going down I'm tired of myself I'm tired of this town Deep.